Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. As always my name is General Confusion and thank you for joining me in this new Ultimate General Civil War video. So as you can see I've rebuilt my army. We've got all our elite units up here in the 1st Division. 2nd Division and 3rd Division are basically identical to uh, two blocks. Combat blocks with two batteries and three infantry brigades each. 4th Division is support now with three shock cavalry one infantry and one artillery. Second Corps, we've expanded somewhat. Uh, we have 6,000 infantry and 12 guns in 1st Division, 2,010 guns in 2nd Division. Ah, I've got something in my mouth. That. And we still have a bunch of money, but not no recruits. I think I'm just going to save my money for now, because when I get some more recruits, I think I'm going to want to found a couple more divisions just to kind of keep things rolling, get 2nd Corps as big as I can before the next major battle. The next major battle is... Gaines Mill, which is one of the Seven Days. I'll talk about the Seven Days a little more, but in brief, the Seven Days were a series of battles that happened when General George McClellan, leading the very large Army of the Potomac, sailed down to the James River Peninsula and then marched up to Richmond. And somehow, at Richmond, became convinced that the twenty to 30,000 odd Confederate soldiers facing him were actually 200,000 soldiers, outnumbering him two to one. And he began to retreat. General Robert E. Lee, who took over command of the Richmond defenses after, excuse me, after General Johnston was incapacitated by illness, uh, immediately began to attack him. And in there were several battles that collectively comprised the Seven Days as McClellan retreated from Richmond, all of which the Confederacy lost or should have lost. Uh, they didn't really accomplish their objectives. They suffered a lot of casualties. It wasn't good, but it did successfully convince McClellan that they had the resources to support these kinds of failed attacks. So he ran away home. Uh, general McClellan was not the fightingest general in the Civil War, but he was a very good trainer and organizer, so they kept him around for a while because of that. So, for minor battles, we're going to be starting off with First Winchester. These three battles, I believe, represent Jackson's Shenandoah Valley Campaign of 1862. Uh, Cross Keys and Port Republic, certainly. Uh, First Winchester, I believe, as well. So these are all at least vaguely historical. So we've decided to launch offensive operations on the Union forces at Shenandoah Valley, preventing them from reinforcing their offensive against Richmond. We must use a bold strategy by employing audacity and rapid, unpredictable movements on the whole valley. Therefore, you'll use a small, flexible force. The rest of your army will take positions at the outskirts of our capital. The Union commander of the Department of the Shenandoah, M.G. Nathaniel P. Banks, is attempting to reorganize his army at Winchester and defend the town, move swiftly and attack that Union force. So if we win this, we'll get 4,200 recruits and $63,000. That would be enough for two full brigades, but of course I'll take losses, so we'll see how well it goes. Okay, so this requires eight brigades. Uh, this is all just the same stuff we just read. I'll use 1st Corps because 2nd Corps only has a total of, yeah, 6 brigades, and I don't want that. So I, of course, can't use all of this, sadly. Um, let's go. So it seems that the Federals decided to give a battle and deployed at the town of Winchester. Our scouts report that General Banks has no more than 4 brigades supported by artillery and light units. You'll have at your disposal a significant force to crush the Federal Army and capture the city. The enemy is outnumbered, so we need you to prevail on the field. Bring us victory, and inflict at least 30% more casualties to the enemy. Godspeed, General. Okay, so I'm going to take basically... First Division... Okay, so let's look at the terrain real quick. So over here, we have fields that can provide some cover. The enemy almost certainly has these woods, which is bad. Over here, we can maneuver to flank and try to get around all the way around this way. I'm not sure how long we have. But we could try to march all the way around and get into the town like this, which might enable us to evade them if they're in these woods, which I'm sure they are. That was where they showed the blue lines, and that's where I'd be, because those are the best defensive positions. But I think we're going to march down the left side of the map here. So, Siegfried... Parker, uh, Barnes, and Kemper. Those are first division. We've got Frank as well. Um, I only get eight brigades plus my wagon and my general. 
So, one, two, three, four, five. I have three more. I'll keep Devon's as well. Got Frank. Now I have six of eight brigades. Uh, I'm going to take two more artillery. Second division artillery. Okay. So, no cavalry, just infantry and artillery. And the first thing I'm going to do is deploy some skirmishers. So, Devon's skirmishers. Watch our flank. Barnes skirmishers. Watch our flank there. Siegfried skirmishers. Scout the way ahead for us. And all of our infantry is just going to advance in line. All of our artillery behind them. And our support units as well. So these skirmishers, they said they had light units. So that means, that means cavalry and skirmishers. So I'm hoping that our skirmishers are going to be able to hold them off. That's the goal, at least. By getting down in those woods. Just gonna move the whole army forward. I'm moving these skirmishers together. It's nighttime, which I think is reducing my visibility. Oh, oh, hello, 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 hello. Match. Barn skirmishers, you need to get into the field. You need that cover. Halt. I don't like the way skirmishers will continually advance and retreat, advance and retreat. I just don't like it. Alright, I'll have my two skirmishers hold here. I'll move Devons over to support them. Uh, I'm actually going to have Siegfried's skirmishers reattach to Siegfried. Just because the whole army is already moving in this direction. Actually, Siegfried Skirmishers, I take it back. Move up forward. The cavalry is running, it looks like. We only have two hours, though, so I cannot take too, too long with this. Which is kind of a problem. All right, Devon's charged those guys. And we're just moving everybody up. Ooh, there's General Banks himself. Okay, we've got a road. I bet. I bet there's Union in those woods. Devons, can you shoot them? They're not even in cover. Please shoot them. Move up. Supply wagon, move up. Harland, move up. Skirmishers, guard our flanks. I think I saw some other skirmishers back there. Oh, we've spotted some enemy artillery. Yep, there's somebody in the woods. Just stay in that. Uh, Harker, get in that field. 
and put some artillery right behind him. Move up Devon's, move up Barnes, keep Devon's skirmishers to guard our rear. There is that cavalry. I'll have my I'll just let my skirmishers shoot at it for a little bit. We're gonna try to curl around and get into the woods over here. One four hour forty five. Harlan, move up. I want all my artillery as close as possible. Oh wow, Devon's is getting pounded. Barnes's skirmishers. We've got two units of artillery over here. Oh, nope, there's an infantry unit over there as well. Okay, Devons, fall back a little bit. Parker and Siegfried, I both want to run. Because I want to flank. Okay, and that artillery is out in the open, so, oh, there's, there's Babbitt. Shoot. Never advance. At least he's not in perfect cover. Yep, Barnes skirmishers are running. That's, that's okay. Into the woods, 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 into the woods. See, all they need to do is hold us off. Okay, Siegfried, hold. You have 79% cover, that's not bad. And Kemper's getting flanking shots. And there's Frank and Harland. Harland, move up, please. Alright, he's routing. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. We're just we're just moving in. Uh if I have to just launch full throttle charges on the artillery I will because I only have a little more than an hour. Big read. Run. Okay, Hampton's guns are moving. That gives me an opportunity to possibly get Devons around here and charge Atwell's guns. Run. Oh, and shoot General Banks, sure. I don't mind shooting General Banks. Okay, okay, this makes me happy. This makes me happy. Yankee cavalry is maneuvering at the rear. Oh, good, that's just what I needed. Oh, that's just what I needed too. Devons, you ugh, I'm sorry, Devons. I I did that to you. I did that to you. It was my mistake. Siegfried, get into the town. Parker, get over there. Kemper. Maneuver up that way. Barnes. Can you shoot at somebody? Yeah, there we go, Barnes. Thank you. Okay, yeah, Devons, Devons is super screwed, and as a consequence, my, uh, my flank is going. But what I can do is I can pull these guys into the woods, and now I have these woods, and I also have part of the town.
And we've secured Winchester. Brigadier General Leslie Richards is wounded. Well, that's unfortunate. Cromwell, get down into the woods. The Siegfried has 100% cover because of the uh, the town that he's in, so we're going to move Harker down. Kemper has 56% cover, and he's shooting at artillery, which is good. Evans gets into the woods. Harker. Harker, shoot at Hatch. Do not, do not let yourself be flanked. Don't let yourself be franked. Ha, ha, ha. Meanwhile, we've got Barnes and Devons up here. Holy crap, 995 deaths. That is agonizing. Harland, shoot at him. Oh dear. Okay, Siegfried is routing. This isn't going as well as I was hoping. See, okay. Hold up. Four brigades... Yeah, four. I, I, there was another infantry brigade, I know. Supported by light units. They have a crap ton of light units. They've got at least three skirmishers, two big batteries of artillery, two big units of cavalry. Man. Okay, Siegfried, as long as Siegfried can recover, all right, you need to get in there where you will have cover. I just need to take the town. I just need to capture the town and hold it, and ideally also... Yeah, just hold Winchester for victory. Hold. Stop being in melee, Kemper. Just hold. Yep, Confederate secured Winchester. Okay, so yeah, this was a victory of a maneuver. I did not win this fighting-wise. I won this purely by maneuvering the Union out of the town. Because frankly, I'm outmatched here. I just don't have... I, I did not come into this with the troops. I probably should have brought... I don't know... Entirely infantry? Something else silly like that? Kemper's doing work, Harker's doing work, Siegfried hasn't done so much work. But hey, he's tried. Devons. Oh, poor Devons. Poor freaking Devons. Why has his command gone way down? I guess because he got pounded so badly, counted as like, I don't know, a great humiliation. I want to advance with Devons, but at the same time, I don't dare advance with Devons. Because he would get crushed. Alright, rejoin Siegfried. Yeah, see, their four units were... Their four brigades were 12,000 men. I don't think the Union had 12,000 men at Winchester. But, whatever. It's a game. I'm having fun anyway, and I'm going to win anyway. It looks like I might even... I might even fulfill the plus 10% casualties. Preston, can you hit him with canister? Please tell me you can hit him with canister. I would love that. Canister him. Canister him, Preston. Oh no! It's because my brigadier general was wounded. The guy... The guy leading the... My division general was injured. Nope, not canister, just shell. Maybe move up a little closer. Move Devons in a little closer. Move 
move Barnes in a little closer. All right, now hold, Devons. I know you have no cover. It's a terrible position, but just hold there anyway. Kemper's gotten a lot of kills. Uh, I found that in close quarters like this, it's usually best to run, just because it gets you into position a lot faster and you can start shooting faster. Gordon's taking it. Although, it's interesting. Gordon is routing a lot, despite having lost only 550 out of 2,500 men. But hey, whatever. I mean, maybe Gordon's just chicken. Okay. So, I did inflict more losses, and in particular, I killed a bunch of his guns and some of his cavalry. That wasn't nearly as good as I would have liked. Um... I'm not sure what I should have done elsewise. I was outnumbered significantly. Uh, let's see what goods I got. Well, I rescued a bunch, but captured... Excuse me. Uh, well, I captured some 1855s. That's nice. Unit-wise, goal-wise, yep, hold Winchester. Okay, cool. Alright, so I got my 4200 recruits. Cool. Okay, that has been the Battle of First Winchester. I'm going to cut this here. Uh, I look forward to seeing you all next time, so tune in again. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. More content like this will be coming to you on the regular of this and also other games. Uh, I'm currently playing Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri in my other series, and I'm planning on adding some other stuff in pretty soon. I may start doing a playthrough of Battle Brothers, which is a game that's been around in early access for a while, and then possibly um, Age of Empires 2 HD Edition. Uh, the Rise of the Raja expansion, which came out very recently, actually. So, if you would like to see any of those, leave a comment, uh, leave a like, tell me what you want, and uh, I will see you all later. Bye, everybody.